shots to try to find spotting onto Canyon will be very helpful for Clint. So Damon Gaming and SKT needed to make adjustments from their losses in this series. Damon Gaming say, let's get a power bot lane, but one that can potentially fall behind, right? Because they are yeah. short of range. And Clid jumps on the Gragas, so he's not going for necessarily the least in priority himself. He does have the Hawk shot to make yeah, it. And I really, I mean, I can't get behind Corrupted Potion on Vladimir, but Clid's coming in. Looking for something here. Okay, Predator is going to be utilized. Barrel now in trouble. It's a lot of damage. Hasn't gone down yet, finally. First Blood goes over to the Ashes. Mato is tanking for so damn long and then has the Devour. Welcome to double MVP, Mato. That was stunning. That was the killing is ripping them apart. Mato, once again, saving his team, but Darmon still have a lot of fight in Whoa. them. That's a great ultimate, but the arrow is a good answer also. From the Ash, the volleys are flying over the top of Darmon, just slowing oh. his own Khan. Dives on forward. Nogger uses the W, but it's just not enough as now Showmaker has to flash to get out of the way. Teddy flashing forward also, and SKT smell blood in the water. And they'll just take down an outer turret in the mid lane. They'll call it a day, but that was a whole lot of power Zero outside bit. of vision. As you can see, finally moves his way in here as there is the Abyssal Voyage. Delivers Khan to the back line and the Lucian immediately dies. The arrow also to augment this battle. Fake is dead very, very quickly though. As Canyon goes golden now, the Vladimir tries to get work done but falls down to the back line. But Nogari is gigantic. The Blade Surge resets are huge. He finds a triple kill but Khan should be able to put this one to bed. Knock up is decent. It's a good stun but not enough as the Aatrox is the last man standing. Man, everyone looking for their moment. Clid gets in there to start the team fight that is won by SKT. But threatened, this is not around the Aurelia though. Yeah, World Ender is going to be utilized here as Canyon breaks the Infernal Chains and Hemo Plague finishes it off pretty comfortably. That's a lot of extra money as Canyon, oh, oh. not tagged by that hitbox of the Enchanted Crystal Arrow, TP. and now SKT find themselves in trouble. Mata does still have the flash, the flash forward. Canyon makes it to the brush, but Teddy has the ward down. He's able to get damage in, but the Sanguine pull is enough to stop Showmaker from falling, and they answer that. Hitting full stacks of Q, that'll be big. This is turning yeah. on to Khan, trying to kill Khan him again. He's not going to land, but Khan has to fight this. There's no way to get out. Does get a decent knock up there. Gets the last hit of the Q, not oh. underneath the I turret forward. Fight. Finally, World Ender is going to be popped. Arrow is going to soar through the heavens, but doesn't land on the Darmwon members. It's a good knock up there from Clint, but not in range was Faker. It is going to be secured. The Baron oh, goes yeah. over. Gragas. It does abate a minion wave, so this buys a lot of time. It means Baron Buffers down his mid lane. Yeah, Nogari in trouble. Windwall does come out as Nogari does go golden eventually. Another arrow is going to pierce the heavens, but not the members of Darmwon. That could be a problem. Nogari does go down. Showmaker with the double kill already, but Khan is gigantic. Infernal Chains lands, but he's stunned up for so damn long. World Ender will give him back 30% of his health, and the Devourer is there to save him. And now Not Teddy. Okay, our number. Yeah, we're going to dive on him. Abyssal Voyage makes this his three versus one. Nogger is still trying to fight this one out, but I think he knows that he's going to die here. He's trying to deny as many of these. Yeah, but Aatrox also on call out TP back in. This is a fast Baron, though. Yeah, this is SKT's fight to orchestrate. However, they're going to lose the Baron to start this one off. Good stun lands onto Clip, but that's all it's going to get. A Showmaker dives on full with the Ash. Almost gets obliterated, but once again, Marta's in there with a brutal. Brilliant devour the back Teddy line. Might be able to hold on to Nexus turret. Five seconds on Clid. Yeah, I'm not even sure about that. You're right. Four. Whether or not they want to is now Nogari dancing around, but they do manage to get the last breath on Vladimir. They popped him to start the fight off, and Mata gets the devour, gets the Grey Health, gets Teddy out of dodge. Nuclear able to take down the Tom Kenshin. Teddy is dove on. Nogari finds his man, but now Khan is looking for more. He's got a GA, and now the pile in has happened. It's working for SKT so far, and even Khan is able to get his way out, gets his way back uh -oh. in again as well. Takes down Canyon now, Beryl. Can he go down? No, he's not going to. It's Nogari that this fight is about as Khan once again trying to fight this one. Nuclear gets it with a damn ardent blaze, and that is the ace. For and another victory. Mart is going to respawn. Six seconds on Teddy, but look at this. There are minions. There are three members of Darmwon. And there is game over. Don1 Gaming going to take down SKT.